Today, I'm going to show you how to create a smooth, handcrafted animation effect in After Effects. We'll go step by step, adding dynamic motion and texture to bring your text to life. Plus, I'll show you how you can edit the text from just one layer, making adjustments super easy. And stick around, because I'll show you an easy way to enhance this look without spending hours animating by hand. Let's start with a new composition called Text Animation Master. For this we'll use 1920 by 1080 pixels, at a frame rate of 24. Now we'll want to add a background. Add a new shape layer, and double-click the Shape Tool Rectangle. Let's change it to a nice off-white color and hit OK. We can rename this BG for background. Next, let's add a new text layer and insert your text. You can center the anchor point by hitting Y, ensuring snapping is toggled on, and dragging the anchor point to the center of the text. Now we can align the text to the center of the comp. Let's animate the text to scale in. Hit the S with the text layer selected to bring up the scale property. Set a keyframe at around 4 seconds and add another to the start by increasing the scale value. Let's go with roughly 575%. To smooth it all out, select the keyframes, hit F9 to easy ease, toggle the graph editor and double click on a point. Apply 80% easing in and out to create a nice motion that starts slow, speeds up quite fast and ends slow. Now, let's add some interesting movement that comes together to form the text. With the ellipse tool selected, Create a new ellipse shape layer, ensuring there is no stroke applied, and center its anchor point like so. Rename it to Circle 1, and duplicate it 8 times with the shortcut Command D. Vary the positions and scale of each circle around the text for a nice varied and organic composition. We can come back to tweak this, so it doesn't need to be perfect from the start. We also want to create variation in color for each of the circles. Next, let's add position keyframes at the 3 second mark, and at the start. You can use the shortcut P to bring up the position property. Center align all the circles where the second keyframes are. Use the same easing as we did with the text layer. Let's drag the end keyframe from the text layer to the same position point as the circles, so everything moves together at the same time. We'll also animate the scale down at the beginning, like so. You may have to scale down each circle individually, so you do not get negative values. Again, let's add easing of 80% either side.
Select all the circles, right-click and pre-compose them to group them as one. Let's call them circles and hit enter. Copy the text layer with command C and paste it into the composition we just created with command V. Let's change its color to black to create more contrast. We want this layer to just act as a guide so it does not appear in the master composition. Right-click and select Guide Layer. Now we can tweak the scales and positions of the circles so that they cover the text. This may take a few rounds of adjustments, with some back and forth to get it looking just right. We can also change the order of the circle layers to create more variation of color. Now, create a null layer. Parent the circles to it and rotate it by negative 90 degrees. You guessed it, let's go with the same keyframe easing as before. Let's adjust the start position of the circles so they do not overlap with the text. Now let's make it feel more handmade by adding some rough texture to the edges of the circles. Solo one of the circles like so and add a roughen edges effect. Change the border to 100, edge sharpness to 2, and scale 10. Then, alt click the random seed and stopwatch and add the expression, time asterisk 6. This creates a nice random boil motion as if each frame has been sprayed on by hand. Hit E with the layer selected, and copy and paste this effect onto the other circles. Now we can uncheck the solo icon, to view them all. Head back to the main comp and set the text layer as a mat for the circle fill comp. This masks the circles into the shape of the text layer. Now we can go back into the circles composition and adjust the positioning, order, and scale of the circles to refine the overall look. This may take some back and forth. The aim here is to spread the colors out evenly so that no single color is too dominating. The beauty of this method is that you will create a new and unique outcome each and every time, just like handmade animations. This looks about right. Next, we want to add a final resolution of the text to a solid color. Duplicate the top circle and add new position and scale keyframes so that it swoops in from the bottom and fills the text. Add the same easing as before. Duplicate the new circle a few times and change their colors.
offset the layers by a few frames, and play with their position in the timeline so they come in at the right time. Navigate back to the main comp and fine-tune the circles to get the best look. Here we are changing the order of colors, and the amount of frames each layer is offset by. Much better. Now, let's enhance that print-like effect. You could painstakingly animate doodles frame by frame in Photoshop. But that takes forever. Luckily, I've already done the hard work for you. Doodle Motion is a collection of over 100 hand-drawn animations, a light, medium, and heavyweight doodles, all animated frame by frame. Just drag and drop them into your project for that effortless handmade look. You can find them at sourcelab.shop. The link is in the description. For this animation, I'm using line 1 and 2, squiggle 1 plus twinkle 3 to add that extra energy. Position and time them to your liking. The animated doodles really help to emphasize the movements, making the animation more engaging and fun to look at. Precompose the doodles and change their color to a tone that resembles a pencil mark. and maybe even decrease the opacity a bit. Let's make them a bit darker now to make them slightly more prominent. To tie it all together, grab a SourceLab texture from SourceLab.shop and scale it down, rotating it to best suit your composition size. Set its blend mode to screen. Add a levels effect and tweak the black and white values for a subtle grunge effect. As you can see this takes some color away from the text giving it a hand printed feel. Then, use the Repetile effect, expanding it to 2000 in all directions. Change the tiling to the Character Flip V, and blend borders to 50% for a seamless texture. To create textured movement, add the following expression by alt-clicking the rotation property of the texture. Adjust the levels to get the desired effect. To add even more texture depth, duplicate the texture layer and change its blend mode to multiply. Add an invert effect to the top. Reset the levels effect and slide the values in for a darker, paper-like texture. It may take some tweaking to get a nice subtle effect.
We can also add slight texture to the text edges by applying a turbulent displace effect. Set the amount to 1 and size to 100 for a subtle boil effect. Then add the expression time asterisk 6 to the random seed property. Duplicate this effect and change the amount to 30 and size to 2 for a finer rough edge texture. This creates a nice textured boil, reminiscent of handmade animation techniques. As a final touch to perfect that classic hand-drawn feel, add an adjustment layer with a posterize effect and set it to 12 frames per second. And there you have it! A bold, print-inspired animation with smooth motion and a handcrafted feel. If you want to speed up your workflow, grab Doodle Motion from SourceLab.shop, it's a huge time saver. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more creative motion graphics tutorials. See you next time.